Midnight, but I have a few things to talk about, which is why I'm here. And I know I kind of go on about these about the same sort of deal, but um, I always like talking about these type of stuff because it gets me like I don't know. It just it's a better way to just get it out, I guess. Um, sorry, I was stretching because <laughs> uh, me and Evan switched out my bed because I've been having a lot of pain <laughs> in my back and uh my side and I actually had a big panic attack the other day because I thought I had a collapsed lung like fully and I panicked so bad I had, to, I had to go to Evan to help me calm down and I just it got so bad I, and I don't know why I just freaked out <laughs> and it was like two in the morning so yeah so that was fucking awful um but we switched out mattresses which this one's fine it's that's the thing is like I can never tell what is comfortable for me and what's not like the bed i had was fine it just was a little too soft but and this one is fine too but it's just a little too hard so it's like where the fuck is the middle like what what am i supposed to do have like this mattress and the comforter that i had because i had a little foam piece over the mattress you know but like that caused me so much like back pain in, in the morning and like this is fine i mean my, i think my body's getting acclimated to it but i'm making my like back crack a lot i mean which again is fine it doesn't matter it doesn't bother me but yeah um uh as you all know it's almost october which is crazy this is probably out by the time it's october because i have a bunch of videos um but that's crazy <laughs> Just hopefully 2021 goes better and you know, all this fire fucking stops. Coronavirus is being handled. I was actually looking up, um, like, the statistics. Cause, funny, because... <laughs> funny, because I have a statistic class. So I'm learning statistics with my classes. Um, but I was looking up statistics and, like... So many people died from this? I think 21 million people have died from this. Or there's 21... There's actually 31 million that's been... 31 million that's been confirmed, but I think 21 of them have been, 21 of that have, they have been, uh, or diagnosed and then cured, but, um, and I think, um, I don't know how much have died, I think over 9,000, I think, I'm not sure, <laughs> I didn't check in a while, but, um, yeah, it's crazy, but, like, the numbers aren't, like, increasing. I mean, they're going down a little bit, you know, but it's, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping that just ends sometime next year. Or it's under control, at least. Because this shit fucking sucks. I mean, not like it's a problem, because, like, I don't ever leave my house. I haven't actually left my house since, well, yesterday, <laughs> because my mom, my mother was here hanging out, and we went to have lunch at, at Lincoln Park, and, you know, because it was nice out, and the fires weren't, you know, in our area, and the air quality was good. I actually checked the air quality. It got a little bit bad, but it's back down to being good, so I think we're fine with the fires. It's not crazy. I think they're main, they're under control, but there's still some places in Oregon and California that are still pretty high and un, un, unhealthy, very unhealthy. At least it's not hazardous. So that's good. We we got up. To, I think we got up to like a hundred. I think we got up to like unhealthy air uh, quality. It did smell like smoke this afternoon or last afternoon. Um, but yeah, I just really hope 2021 goes better. But honestly, that's wishful fucking thinking because I don't know what could get worse or what could get better. So, 
And that's why I have severe anxiety. Anyways, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about my stories, but I just wanted to give you guys some updates on things. Um, I go to Mariah's this weekend. Well, it should be fun, I hope. I don't know. I know you never really do anything. Um, I've been doing a lot of eBay mainly because... Uh, because I've been so obsessed with Harry Potter, I have been, you know, watching a bunch of Harry Potter bloopers, but also not because, like, I need, not a break necessarily, but a, technically just a break, just for a minute to finish my stories, because I have so many I want to work on, so many that I want to continue writing and fixing, but I can't because my brain is just consumed with Harry Potter, and, like, it's normally not an issue because I can figure it out, you know, because I've been writing the story for a while, but it's like, I don't know, I always feel like I need a, I need a refresher course, you know, because there's like shit from like the flash and the arrow that I want to work on and shit from, well, I'm trying to come up with new Harry Potter stories really and I've been reading the Harry Potter stories, trying to figure out how I can manage that. Because, like, I want to follow along with the concept of it, but, like, I don't, I just don't think I'd be very good. And, like, there's so much shit that goes into play and, like, research of having, like, to do in Harry Potter that's a lot more complex that I'll have to do research on. I actually did plan a lot of research on it about, like, the classes and stuff, but when it comes to stuff like potions and whatnot, like, and like, like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about the potions. I guess I can just look it up on the wiki. Like, it doesn't matter. I can do research on it. But, um, yeah. And, like, I don't know. I've, I've just been so, like, not really motivated much to do anything. And, like, whenever I'm bored, I kind of just do eBay. I have been trying to read more, which my Supernatural book, I have, like, 20 chapters left. And then I'm done with it. Um... But, like, I also just have so much eBay to do, <laughs> too. Because I want money. I'm so, I sound selfish, but I want money because I want Harry Potter stuff. Um, and, and it's like, I have so many stories that I know exactly what to write about. I know, And I know exactly how to continue it. Because the way that I plan on my stories, I plan on the chapters first because the chapters give me an, an insightful idea of what the, the chapter is going to be about. So once I do that, I figured out a play-by-play -play and kind of like, you know, do all that stuff. And, and if I forget, I kind of put in brackets like, oh, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And then, I'll, and then it'll, it'll jog my memory if I forget because I'm forgetting things and I hate it. <laughs> That's depression and anxiety for you. But it's like... It's like I can't exactly just focus my brain on to work on it. I mean, I could if I tried hard enough, but it's like I need to finish a story about Marcel, which I'm super duper close. I have four chapters left. Four chapters. And then I'm done with it. And then I have uh, three other stories that are on, like, chapter 12 that I'm close to finishing. You know, but it's like one's... There's the one about Marcel, there's the one about Brock, then there's one about Stanley Barber that I've written but I haven't published anywhere, and there's the one about Bruce Banner having a daughter. I mean, it's it's not so hard because all of my stories are practically similar, you know, which is why I've also been trying to branch out my options, like, you know, with the fiction story or the horror story or with Harry Potter because it's different genres than what I'm used to, you know, but it's like there's still going to be fan fiction or, like, family fiction or, you know trying to come up with something because I am a deep, wise person who can come up with deep shit because I have a lot of issues that I portray my shit and problems onto my characters, which is why they are so shitty because so am I. Anyways, but it's like, God, it's just so hard to focus and, and it's so hard to sleep at night. Like, my sleeping schedule have been, has been shit for the past, like, weeks, for weeks now. Like, I'm not going to bed. I'm, like, the lightest sleeper you will ever meet. And I'll wake up to, like, literally periwinkle or one of my cats walking in my room and meowing. Or a bug on my, oh, like, a bug somewhere in my room. Or just the slightest of noises that my brain picks up, I immediately wake up, you know. And 
you know, I haven't been sleeping until, like, after 2 in the morning, and then getting up at 5 in the morning, or getting up at 4 in the morning, and then, like, going hour by hour, because Periwinkle is up at those times wanting to snuggle and have attention with, and, and then there's school, which I have just classes, actual classes have started this week, and they're, ver they're very simple, very simple, but I have to do class, technically I have to go into these Zoom calls, they're, they're optional, they're not required, but it, it's great if you're there, you know, and it's not like I have a problem or anything, you know, because I understand the, the, the work and whatnot, and I, uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter to me necessarily because I always get my work done and I always, you know, know what I'm doing, sort of. Um, but, like, I, but my teacher wants me to be in class on Tuesday because that's when, because I have life science and we have nurses from Portland University teaching, so I gotta get up at 9 and then, like, I have my general, it's like 9 and 9.50. And then 10 to 10.50, 11 to 11.50, you know? So, technically, it doesn't really matter if I'm there or not, because it's only for 50 minutes. And, like, like I said, they're all they're not required, so I don't have to be there if I don't want to. But it is helpful to be there, I guess. I don't, I don't know, because I, the way that, because that was the shit that I was last year, is that I don't, I never went to any of the classes or the Zoom calls. I just did all the work. You know, and that was fine, but, I don't know, it's, it's, Zoom calls already give me so much anxiety anyways, dude, like, it's just, it's just rubbish. I've been trying to reciprocate everything into just Harry Potter, so like, I'm trying to say rubbish or bogart or, um, anything they would say. Like, instead of prison, I say Azkaban. Um, speaking of which, oh my fucking god, dude. Or should I say dudes and dudettes? I have been obsessed with the new point of Harry Potter, and I'm so fucking upset that this is not a part of a film or a movie or anything, but the Marauders, the, the Marauders, who made the Marauders map. And I never, I never understood Padfoot Prong's Mooney and Wormtail until I figured out who the fuck they were because of the Animagus boys, or should I say professors, except for, well, Pettigrew. Because Peter Pettigrew's a traitor, and he's a dumbass, and I hate him. But you have Sirius Black, Remus Lupin, and James Potter, you know? They're Animaguses. And they made the Marauders map, which I never knew because I never knew, like, what they meant. Like, Padfoot is Sirius because he's a wolf. Prongs is James Potter because he's a stag, Wormtail because Pettigrew's a rat, and Mooney because Remus is a werewolf. And I've been obsessed with Sirius and Rem and Lupin recently. I'm like, oh my fucking god, dude. And the people that play younger them, holy shit. You got Ben Barnes playing um, Sirius Black. You have Andrew Garfield playing young Remus Lupin. And you have uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson playing as James Potter. I don't know who plays Pettigrew, but the but Neville Longbottom's father, younger him, is played by James McAvoy. And then you have Karen Gillian as Lily. Lily Evans, I think, is her surname before she became a Potter. But there's no, and I keep seeing, like, clips from here and there of younger them, and it, and it seems like there's a film or, like, a video or a movie about them, and I could, and I tried looking it up, but I haven't seen anything, and it's making me mad because I want a film with them in it. I want to film what, what the Marauders were like. I mean, come on. So much attractive men in one movie. I mean, Avengers and X-Men and everything else I can come up with, but you know what I mean, like, of Harry Potter, well, in Harry Potter as well, young or old doesn't matter, but you know what I mean, and I just, <sighs> it makes me so upset because I can't find anything, you know, like, everything, also everything has just been so stressful, you know, because 
I know I said I'd focus all my attention on school, but school takes literally an hour or so to do, so it's like, it's not that bad. But it's just like afterwards, and then... But yeah. So my brain's a little fried, and I just need a break, but... I, I'm a workaholic, so... I just want to work, work, work. Because that's all that my brain's been doing is working and I've been needing just wanting to get shit done so I don't have to worry about it later on you know but I guess breaks is what your body needs you know but it's like I'm not I don't I just hate it because I just my brain's always on my brain's on a constant like wheel like it's constantly running that it just doesn't have time to stop for a minute so um, but yeah, I just, I, I look over so much stories and be like, I know exactly what to write about, and then I don't, and then I lose it until I read it again, and I'm like, well, shit, because it just never happens, and it's like, I, I don't want to watch, rewatch The Flash or The Arrow yet, because I know I'm going to be obsessed with them, and I don't want to lose my interest in Harry Potter yet, which is probably not going to happen, like, I can be obsessed with a million things at once and still have an obsession towards them, like Supernatural and X-Men and Avengers, you know. But it's like, it's so much more stressful that way if I'm obsessed with 40 million things at once. It's because it's never gets, because nothing ever gets done that way. But like, if I'm obsessed with one thing, then I can get more things done. But because I have not been this obsessed with Harry Potter before, and it's hard coming up with stories that it's not exactly easy. So, yeah. And I'm not exactly sure how to start it. Because I don't want, I don't want them just starting out, like, at 11. Because it's a fan fiction, obviously. There's gotta be some romance in there, so it's like I gotta make them like the legal age is like 17 or so. That's what? What are you in that year? Fourth? Fourth year? 11? So like, or 12, like 13? 14? Yeah, like third year? Third or fourth year? So it's like, uh, and like, are you, can you even start Hogwarts that late? And I know that I can just make up whatever the fuck I want, but it's like, I gotta have some Harry Potter shit and, like, resemblance in there, you know? Um, so yeah. Um. So yeah. That is basically it. If you didn't mind, if you like, share, subscribe, and leave a thumbs up. Awesome bell, so you can do this daily.